I'm here at GDC 2019 and I just got done trying the Tactical Haptics Reactive Grip Controllers. I tried a lot of controllers, but uh, these are the coolest ones because uh, you, you really feel what you see in the, in the experience. It blew me away. It's a really big challenge to get haptics in games, to actually feel what's going on, get sensations beyond what you see and beyond what you hear. And what I like about the tactical haptics uh, feedback device is they, they figured out a way to overcome that. So with traditional controllers, you get a little buzz when you hit something. But with the tactical haptics controllers, you actually feel what it is doing. It should push back and you actually feel it in your hand. What I like with sheer feedback is it allows you to feel tensions and pulls in ways that I've never really seen done with vibrations. Feedback is everything. To be able to pick up the gun and pull the gun and feel it shoot in my hand, to be able to swing the sword, and when I hit the, the target, to feel that force put back or stab it in there, and feel the force come thing. back, or um, your gravity gun, to be able to pick it up and feel the force, the weight of it come into it, and just shoot out of my hand. It just adds to that whole new level of immersion that VR really, really Shift feedback makes it feel like you're really interacting with the environment and you actually have a tangible way of feeling things. Part of the reason that it was immersive was the fact that it was variable, right? It wasn't just, oh, it's vibrating, right? It was, you just feel like kind of, you didn't even notice why it was happening, but when you're twisting and doing things, it feels like twisting and doing things. You're not thinking about why am I feeling that? It's not feeling artificial. I always like the flail. There's these little details in the physics. Like uh, if I put, uh, you know, I have the, the mace, the flail going, um, and I feel the weight of it, but if I like place the, the spiked ball on a surface and let the chain slack, I don't feel the, the sheer force anymore, which is very cool. It's something sliding along my wrist, but because of the way that it's, it's feeling, it's weighted, it's centered, it doesn't feel like there's a thing sliding against my palm. It feels like I'm holding onto a mace and swinging it in real life. I can imagine in a game where you have a levitation, then you shoot out, and as you pull your hands up, you actually feel them raising. Not only am I using this ray gun to grab a hold of the sphere and flail it around and feel the weight of, of that sphere, but if I get the gun in my other hand and slam those spheres together, uh, or those boxes together, um, I can feel the resistance of like the tethers fighting each other. I actually understood that I had control of the block and was able to throw it. I felt like I was literally moving it and throwing it and that additional feedback added to that. So like I literally felt like I knew how hard to throw it, how far to push it, things like that. Yeah. Which normally you don't get in, in VR when it doesn't have that feedback. My favorite demo was the sword dummy. You basically swing at this this dummy that's that's standing there and it, it, it says Monty Python, you are back to you. Is this a flesh wound? But what I really liked about it is you felt every nuance. As you struck the dummy, you'd feel the, the, the sword hit hit the, the shoulder or the neck, and then you'd actually feel it as it's as it's bending, it, it resisting what you're what you're touching. The mannequin like felt heavy when I tried to move it with the sword. It also felt like there was something in the way when I tried to move the sword against the mannequin as opposed to um, just feeling like a bump or feeling nothing at all when using the traditional feedback. The sword blew my mind because lifting up somebody's arm with a sword in my hand and feeling that pressure back down, I, I, I've never felt anything like that before. I really enjoyed uh, the feeling of stabbing and twisting. Being able to twist it, feel like it resists me a little bit. That was incredible. And I just jammed it into the guy, and I turned it, and I, I, it almost felt scary because of how real it felt. It was so interesting that I can put the controllers together like a machine gun, and then it felt like I'm actually uh, using a machine gun. These things meld together, and now it's something different and more powerful, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's this? 
Oh yeah! Having the ability to take the controllers and just snap them together, and it becomes a new gun, a rail gun, uh, a rocket launcher, uh, I can reload. That was just, it felt really intuitive. Say hello to my little friend! I tried a demo where I'm able to use a reconfigurable VR controller that also has haptic input. So not only am I able to control a six-off controller, but I'm able to feel what I'm doing and I'm able to reconfigure the controllers to provide different functionality. Usually when I've tried controllers, they're two separate items. We think of them as two separate items. But in this case, I was really surprised that they magnetically connected together and the object in the virtual world changed as you connected these controllers together. Very seamless, and it just, again, it just made for a unique experience. You may consider a gun um, that's two-handed, but you can't really just hold two controllers like this. Um, it really helps to be able to stick them together and feel that stability and control. And then once you put it together, depending on whether you put it together in one angle versus another, you get different styles of guns, which also allow for rotating your wrist to have its own ability. All of this felt super natural. All of this didn't require a learning curve in order to get into. When we had the two controllers together and I was having to reload by twisting it, it actually worked really well, it worked really fast, it didn't feel unnatural, and it was actually better than trying to flick the damn thing. It was way quicker to go. The ability to reconfigure from a two-handed controller, which alone is cool, with different functionality, into a single-handed controller, and then into different, different types of, you know, essentially articulating controllers, that's awesome. It was a great experience. If I'd never seen this and this somebody were to tell me, hey, we can give you a sense of touch without there actually being anything pushing against you, it's all in this free-form controller without wires, without an actual physical object, it probably wouldn't be that believable until you actually try and feel it. So feeling is believable. If they didn't mention it to me, I would have never known that the controllers were simpler, lighter, uh, that had uh, less parts or whatever they have. With the, I know it's only two shifters instead of three. I'm like, hey man, it's, it brought back the same delight of the experiences when I tried it for the first time. I thought, uh, what? The, this is only the two things. Uh, These two things are doing the magic. That was uh, awesome. <laughs> it's a really good experience. It feels very realistic and you almost don't notice it. It's so natural. This is when you actually have to feel to believe. It really did make a difference. Get to actually hold the thing. I'm actually interested as a guy who normally wouldn't care about VR. Go a layer deeper and try something totally crazy and totally out there and you get the proper feedback that you would expect. That's freaking magic, man, and I love it.